Hey guys, and welcome to this quick tutorial about how you can import the exchange rate for your cryptocurrencies into Google Sheets. All you need is Google Sheets and you need my script from the website. Um, I put the link in the description below if you um, want to use it. Okay, let's start with Google Sheets. If you have a new spreadsheet, as you can see, it's not even a safe one. Like it's, I just created this one and you can click on Tools script editor to open up the script editor and then simply copy paste um, my code into the editor. I will go a little bit deeper inside of the script later. Just uh, for now it's okay to just copy paste it, save it. And if, when you save it you need to name it. Um, I, I recommend to call the script the same way as the function is called. So coin underscore price. And once you've done that, you can use the new function with a new spreadsheet. So you can say, okay, give me the coin price of Ethereum converted to US dollar. It needs to be a semicolon. And then hit enter and you have the price. You can also use it, for example, if you have a function. Like if you if if you say I want to, have, like you have a list and you say I want the price for Ethereum, I want the price for Bitcoin, I want the price for um, Litecoin, and then for example, you just type in uh, coin price, then USD. And there you go, you have it. And then you can use this function to have the current price. And then for example, you can use it to convert your current um, wallets and get the current pricing of it. So just make a new formula, the current exchange rate times the amount of money you have. And there you go. Uh, one important thing to know is like since you know the exchange rate might change very often and it does just like spreadsheets by default calculates the formula just once so it will remain the same value all over the time until you change something so maybe you change it to capitalized USD then it would get um, a new price from the server this is probably not what you want so there's a little trick you can click on file and then um, spreadsheet settings and on calculation you can say okay um, recalculate not on change you can say it okay recalculate for example on change and every minute and probably this is not a very um, nice setting because um, you need to know that even if this document is not opened uh, spreadsheets reloads the information so you might want to pick um, on change in every hour. It's still accurate. And yeah, this is how the function works. For the geeks, I would like to go a little bit deeper into the code and how you can adjust it and what it actually does. And the most important thing is where does the script get the information from? Um, I used a public, public API from CoinMarketCap. That is also the reason why you shouldn't like go crazy with like minute updates, um, because those guys they like, well, they they might be not that happy. But yeah, this is what it does. So coin price, pretty much. Um, what I what you need to know about CoinMarketCap is when when you use their API. Um, they're not using the short version, so they're not using BTC, they're using the word Bitcoin. So I did a little like converting here. So there's a list of uh, supported um, currencies. And if you want to support more currencies or the currencies you're using, you need to look it up at CoinMarketCap, what's the actual name of it. Uh, you can easily find it out by, uh, when, you, when you open up CoinMarketCap.com. And... Um, then you can like pick any um, coin you want and then look in the URL. So this is the one you're looking for. And then you can just um, add it to this list and then it will be supported by the script. 
Um, so yes, uh, it just looks up the the short word, the, the long version for coin market cap, uh, puts it in um, puts it in the in an API call. And what I also did is uh, in case that coin market cap is not working, I have a little cache in here, so whenever it can't look up the price, it will grab um, this this value from the script properties. So there's some some little caching involved. Yeah, feel free to use it and change it. If you if you like add more functionality to it, feel free to just drop me an email and let me know what you've done. Um, otherwise, just have fun using that script. Thanks for watching.